This week on Thoughts for the Day, we've been looking at uh, our aspects of our identity in Christ. When we become believers, everything changes. We become a child of God with a perfect Heavenly Father. We're forgiven. We are a new creation. Yesterday we looked at new eyes, new ears, new mind. Today, uh, I'm thinking about us as a dwelling for God's Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 1 Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. When we become believers, as we've just read, the Father puts his Holy Spirit in us. It's a sign that he, that we belong to him. It's a deposit guaranteeing the fullness of what's to come at the end of our earthly lives. I think of it a bit like our lives being a house and when we become believers, the Holy Spirit comes into the hall. But there's a lot more of the house that he needs to be invited into. He wants to be in every part of our lives. And we need to invite him into that. That's, that's sometimes an ongoing process when he reveals a cupboard that uh, I yet haven't opened up to him. But 1 Corinthians 6, 19 says that our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. We carry his presence wherever we go, the presence of the King of Kings. And wherever we are, we affect the spiritual atmosphere around us just by being there. The Holy Spirit who dwells within us is the power that raised Jesus from the dead, transforming he transformed those first fearful followers of Jesus into the early church who preached with boldness, who performed miracles and stood strong in the face of opposition. The same Holy Spirit is within each one of us, empowering us, wanting to do the same, giving, gifting us and changing us as we surrender ourselves to him. And Ephesians 5, 18, it says, be filled with the Spirit. So we already have the Spirit, but we leak. Uh, the, that, that verse in Ephesians 5 is in the continuous present tense. So it, it really means go on being filled. So it's not just a one-off. We need to continually ask to be filled because we leak. And we need to leak. We need to share... Um, we need to share his spirit. We need to share his love uh, with those around us. We're called not just to, to hold on to it for ourselves, but to be channels um, for others. So we need to continually ask to be filled. And the Holy Spirit brings us gifts, not to make us feel special, but for the building up of the church. And when they're used as he intended, the church family is edified and the Lord's glorified. We each have a place. We each have gifts that the Lord has given us to use for his glory, to build up the church. So today, let's just think, are we allowing him and inviting him into every part of our lives? Or am I quenching what he longs to do? in me and through me. Let's pray together. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you dwell within each one of us, something that is almost too amazing to understand. Oh Lord, fill us afresh today with your spirit, that we may be clear channels for you to flow through us, through what we say, through what we do, to everyone that we come into contact with. Lord, we ask this for your glory. Amen.